This is amazing. Britain world leading in nuclear fusion. Scientists close to bottling the energy of the sun. That's how hot it's going to be inside. Britain has a scientific lead on a pioneering new type of nuclear energy and the government has just granted a UK firm its largest financial boost yet. Oxfordshire-based Tokamak Energy, working on a breakthrough fusion energy right now, a power source with huge potential, but notoriously tricky to pull off. Scientists around the world have so far failed to produce a nuclear fusion reactor capable of sending power into a national grid, but this British firm is a tantalizing uh, close approach, and a senior figure within the company has told the news media that the UK is leading in the field. Tokamak Energy is aiming to put fusion power into the national grid for the first time ever by 2030. Dr. David Kingman, Kingham, Executive Chair, Vice Chairman and Co-Founder of Tokamak Energy, explained how important nuclear fusion is and why it has been so difficult to achieve it. He said it's like you're bottling the sun and harnessing the energy that comes off it as a heat. As it, its name suggests, fusion power works by fusing atoms together. This generates potentially enormous amounts of energy, and this same reaction powers the sun, where enormous pressure and temperature fuse hydrogen atoms together to create helium, generating light and heat in the process. And according to Dr. Kingham, fusion reactors aim to re recreate these conditions so fusion can take place here on Earth. He said the fusion reaction produces high-energy neutrons that leave a plasma and they're captured in a blanket around the fusion plasma. And creating these mind-boggling temperatures, scientists are aiming to have their reactors reach 100 million degrees this year and controlling the resulting plasma in a safe and controlled way is not so easy. Now, one of the biggest hurdles involving the extremely powerful electromagnets used to power fusion reactors in the first place, scientists have found they actually suck up more electricity than the reactors generate, so obviously that's not a good thing. Dr. Kingham said, what's been achieved so far in government laboratories is a fusion reaction has been demonstrated, the magnets have been shown to work, 16 megawatts of fusion power has been produced, but only by putting in 24 megawatts of power to into the device. So you have to put in almost twice as much to produce half. That's not going to work. So he says that's the challenge to get more energy than you put into it. And the key to that is to use high temperature superconducting magnets and get the magnetic field strength higher. Basically, this makes your magnet bottle that holds the plasma more efficient. I'd like to know these very strong uh, super magnets. What do they have? as an effect on our Earth's electromagnetic, geomagnetic um, field, and also these 100 de million degrees, reaching 100 million degrees what? I would to, uh, venture to say it's centigrade. This uh, article is um, from Express UK, which is in England, Europe, and Europe uh, measure, it measures temperature in centigrade. So that's 100 million degrees centigrade to be reached this year. Where is this going to be reached? And how is this going to be contained? 100 million degrees, this is the temperature of the sun. Is there anything on the earth that can trap this much heat? So uh, he says that he wants uh, to put electricity into the grid by 2030. That will be one module to start with, he says, with a target output of 150 milliwatts of electricity. And um, then as a company, he says, we'll be building more modules by 2030. So the idea is not just deliver 150 milliwatts, but to be able to rapidly deploy the technology in the early 2030s so that it can have a big global impact on carbon emissions before the year 2040. So the UK has a world-leading position at the moment. For Tokamak Energy, miniaturization, miniaturization will be the goal. Currently, some large warships have their own nuclear fission plants, the other form of nuclear energy humankind has used for decades up to now. Dr. Kingman uh, said it's possible fusion reactors could be used in the same way. The modules would fit quite comfortably in a large ship. They take a lot less space than the diesel power plants, and particularly, they need a lot less space for fuel storage. So they would make ships 
much more efficient in the future. What we need now is private investment coming along that's focusing not on the science but on the technology development. And that's where it gets exciting because you can get supply chains, manufacturing industry involved and deliver commercial or economic benefits to those who will eventually use this. Tell me what you think. I think um, there's a lot still they have to do to produce more energy than they put into it. And uh, this is by Edward Brown on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.